Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial about how to install iView Classic version on macOS. Um, right before we start, we, I would like to show you a new fundraiser that I that I made. Uh, this is because I really I really need your help on this. After a year and a half of not being able to upload uh, videos and um, trying to keep up with the feedback that you did uh, that you gave me uh well the youtube channel i couldn't continue the research uh of providing you um a new new ways to use imbu on the you know the, the new mac os uh versions uh like um been to uh, monterey uh this last past years um so yeah uh i would like to show you here if you would like to donate and help me out with this uh found uh founding uh i will really appreciate your your support uh without further ado uh here's the video uh thank you very much and subscribe for mo more content uh that i will try to upload on the few days Okay, guys, to begin with, uh, what we are going to use to use uh, IBU on on Mac OS, uh, this is for Bixa or Ventura uh, Monterey. We are going to need a new software that we are going to use to open the actual uh, Windows, uh, the Windows software uh, of IBU. Okay, I'm going to guide you through the process. So. So the first thing that we need to do is go to this link right here. Uh, we are going to go to download the Wineskin server and the releases. Um, this is going to be on the on the uh, comments um, on the description below the video. Uh, and we are going to see the releases, uh, how this is being tested for uh, basically uh, run Windows programs on Mac OS. Uh, I already tested out. Uh, so the first thing that we are going to, what that we need to download is going to be here. We are going to do, uh, we are going to click on assets, right? Um, scroll down to Jan January 2nd, uh, that we are going to need this, this archive right here, wineskin .winery.tx. Uh, TX and Z. So once we click here, right, uh, it's going to start the downloading process. Uh, I already downloaded so for testing. So uh, on downloads, you are going to see that we have uh, the wine skin uh, TX, uh, TXZ right here. We are going to click here. So, okay, this is already um, uh, installed, right? We are going to open. You see right here, well, it's wine skin winery it cannot be open because the developer is not being verified. Don't worry about it, cancel right here, open anyway, and it's going to open. Then again, the security measure, open. I'm really sorry for the low um, <laughs> the low process of my video because as I, as I told you guys I don't have Mac uh, this is going uh, this is going to be a slow process but uh, we'll get there. All right, we have the wine skin winery. Basically, we are not going to see this here. Uh, for you are not going to see see it here. Uh, I'm going to uh, cancel it. So there's no installed installed engines. The engine is what is going to run the actual uh, IMBU. So we are going to click on the plus. Uh, here you are going to look for the last update that is Windows 11 uh, Wine 64-bit. Uh, this is the one that we want. 22.11.22.1.1. Uh, so this is what we are going to um click uh download and install okay and it's going to start the install process
now that the process is already finished, um, basically it's not done yet. Uh, we are going to create a new blank wrapper. This blank wrapper, it's going to be where we are going to stall the IMU. Um, basically, um, this creates a file uh, for us to put the program, the Windows program. So we are going to name it IMU. Oh my God. Okay, there you go. Okay, IMU. So the wine configuration uh, is starting, uh, starting slowly, but steady. Uh, let it work here a little bit more and we are going to keep moving. Okay, so as you can see, the um, created file, uh, this created a file uh, within the wine skin. Uh, created a folder that says users hawk applications uh, wine skin. Uh, so basically, uh, we're pretty much done with this. Okay, we are going to close this. Uh, this we are not going to use it anymore. So we can. Uh, and now, if we see right here, uh, I'm going to go here. Now, I view. Right, this Mac, and I'm going to see this wine skin. Um, this wine skin. Uh, we can move it uh, right now, but we are going to leave that for later. Um, right now we are not going to uh, open this. Uh, what we need to do now is go to downloads. So the one we are going to do now is going to imu.com next downloads release notes. This is the same step that we um, that we did the last time uh, on the others on on pretty much the the old the, the all the the videos that we did. You're going to scroll down to the bottom right here where we are going to see the exe files right this is uh as as always this is going to be art, um upgraded uh every few months so um always remember to uh download the windows installer uh from the last um from the last date right uh right now we have the version 3 here that is it says desktop beta but we are we don't use the beta uh so um below that it's going to be the last release note of the windows installer so click here it's going to download the installer right uh this is going to download again the install i already as I said, I already uh, downloaded, but anyways, open wine skin, IMU, right? It's going to pop up this little thing. Uh, we first, we need to add a code for this. It is a wine trick, so we can uh, save the installation. So we are going to go here to custom. Right here, we type um oops uh d v uh, no d x v k underline mac os dot ber. uh we put run uh this is a, just a command so the um it's going to say here uh, don't worry about it. Uh, you can also check it out here in my screen. 
uh, it's going to install basically um it's going to install a package that will save us from receiving a problem now again one skin go to uh advance install software so now uh, when we press this choose setable uh, setup executable go to downloads select the file that we that we uh, downloaded from IBU click choose and now we start IBU would not access the file of computers um, not okay let it install And we have the install setup. Press install. Okay, so now that we can log in, I'm just going to type my username, uh, press enter without using the password. This is because I want this to get the error. The error is going to uh, finish the actual uh, installation. Um, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm going to close this. And... Uh, and wine scheme, it's going to finish the process of installation. Okay, so uh, we have new, no new executables found. Maybe install failed, blah, 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 blah. This is the problem that it's going to give us right now. Uh, but now what we are going to do is this. Um, we are going to uh cancel right here uh and in here it's going to say windows app right we're going to browser go here drive c so what we're going to do is go to drive c users hawk app data roaming <laughs> this is pretty crazy but uh, don't worry about it I'm view client. We're going to scroll down and look for I'm view quality agent exe, which is that, right? And this will set the uh, basically the program that we want to use. Uh, the icon we also can <laughs> search for the icon. So users hog. Um, I think is applications, no, wine skin, okay. Wine skin, I view, drive C, users, hog again, app data, roaming. <laughs> uh, I view client, right? And we are going to search for the I view icon right here. Choose, which should be here. Sorry about the <laughs> the little uh, sound here. It's my cat doing cat things. Okay, so we have the the IMBU the tools. Are, everything is set up. We can close that. Uh, it should it should actually change the icon. But anyways, um, 
I'm gonna drag and drop right here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, drag and drop. Right. Close that. Open my view. Go. Uh, <laughs> the actual problem is loading. Um, I don't know about uh, performance. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know if uh, it's going to be laggy or not on Macs because I really don't have an actual Mac. Um, uh, you know, a, a, an actual uh, new one, and uh, well. Uh, so so I don't know how it's going to work with M2 or M1 uh, MacBooks or uh, iMacs. So let me know in the comments how it's uh, how is everything. So well, let me know, guys. What do you think? Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.